So what's up? Do you ever think that they take art direction more seriously in Japan in games? I'm not sure what you mean. It's just... Like, Pokemon? What? N no, stop. Never mind. It's just that this week's Pokemon is so darn rich with backstory. I know. <sighs> it's it's inferno. Inferno. Infernape's that flaming monkey guy with a proclivity for punching. Ew, alliteration. Evolving from Monferno, he's the final evolution of Chimchar, the fire type starter from Gen 4. His looks remind me of the Chinese golden monkey, which is freaking perfect too, because they're famous for loving heat, especially hot springs. And plus, he's a dang sweet fighter. He's supposed to use all his limbs and fight ruthlessly. Am I the only one whose aunt this sounds exactly like Muay Thai martial arts? Yes, I literally am. Oh, no. Real squawk though, my boy Infernape's got that deep warrior lineage built right into his design. Real squawk. Use it. Hashtag it. You know. I think what he's trying to say is that Infernape is the Pokemon tribute to Sun Wukong the Monkey King, one of the most important figures in Asian mythology. Yeah, that. Which probably brings us to the segment thingy. Hell yes, you idiot. It's time for Pokemon. Super size. Super size? Super size. Sun Wukong, or Sun Goku as he's known in Japan, is a character in classical Chinese literature and the main character of the novel Journey to the West. Yes, Goku like the Dragon Ball dude. Yeah, keep it rolling. There's tons of different stories about him, but the main one starts with him being born from an egg made of stone, all magic style, before using his Taoist techniques to save all the forest apes and get crowned the Monkey King. Like you do. He ends up getting this awesome staff thing and takes it with him all over, doing all kinds of cool stuff before, hey, hello, strolling up to the physical embodiment of hell and scratching his name off the book of life and death so he could literally never die. Dang, dudes. Then the Jade Emperor, who I'm not even gonna get into right now, makes him Heaven's Stable Boy for a minute, which sounds awesome, but it's totally not because Monkey King thinks it's insulting and starts a war with the gods where he kills 100,000 celestial warriors before getting caught. Narbars. The gods want to kill him, but he can't really die, so then the Buddha tricks him into prison for 500 years before he's finally freed to serve as the bodyguard for Wan Zhang on his journey to the west to get some scriptures. Monkey King has to wear a band around his head to keep him tame, but long story short, they make it, and Sun Wukong is eventually promoted to Buddhahood. Oh yeah, and in Fernape's armor might be a reference to the golden chainmail Sun got when he defeated four dragons, and his Japanese name, Gokazaru, sounds like Goku, but also means Hellfire Monkey. It's perfect, design complete, good job team. This can't even be wow, real, though, that's it's a so cool. cool. Story. Oh, that's a man. really this long, This is the cool king of stories. Story. Story. And that's why Goku has a monkey tail. What are you looking at now? At? More like looking forward to some Gen 6 Infernape strats. Let's do it. Come mm. on, what? That was bad. It was the best I had. That was a bad joke. God, come on. Pokemon. Bad joke. Man. Infernape's become a little bit outclassed and irrelevant this gen, but he's got 104 in both attack stats, and that means he's still good for some mixed attacking mid-game. Make sure you grab a naive one and super train it in attack, special attack, and speed. Couple this with the ability Iron Fist, which boosts the power of punches, and he's gonna do some serious damage. Infernape's main role is bringing down walls and making it safe for your sweeper, so give him close combat and fire blast for stab moves that'll take most of them down clean. He's also one of the best Thunder Punch users in the game, so give him that coupled with Grass Knot for coverage of other common wall and support Pokemon types. Plus, on top of all of that, giving him the Life Orb will boost your damage output at the cost of some HP every turn. Maybe couple him with a U-Turner or a Volt Switcher though, because it makes him even more brittle and he needs to get in safe. Of course, that's not the only way to train an Inferni, so as always, here are a few random thoughts. Using Flare Blitz and Mach Punch instead of Fire Blast and Grass Knot can work if you want to focus on physical attacks. For you showdown peeps, Hidden Power Ice also works real well in that special attack type coverage slot. Bye bye, Glyscore! Nasty Plot can also work well with Fire Blast even though it's a little riskier. Just something to think about. And finally, try thinking about Choice Band and U-Turn. It's a way more aggressive way to go and Flare Blitz can really deal out some damage. And there you have it! Infernape, the pan mythological monkey demon warrior king. I'm totally blown away. Yeah! As always, make it your business to subscribe and leave suggestions for you'd like to see next in the comments below. I'm Polka Kells. And I'm Passionate Man Alex. Tune in next week for another sticky episode of the decks. But for now, let's give the Monkey King a few more minutes of silent gravitas. <laughs>